Hello and welcome back to Midnight Gaming with Mystic Nightmare. I am him, he is I, it is midnight, and we are back on Subnautica, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Last time we left off, we were over by, um, over by a wreck in the Bloodgrass biome. Now, Scoobs, if you're watching this, the Bloodgrass biome is actually named the Grassy Plateau. Now, I don't know why they named it the Grassy Plateau, because the Grassy Plateau is actually one mountain that looks like its head's been cut off perfectly straight. And these are just like, they have columns in there, and they're cut off at the top, so I guess technically they are column plateaus, so it should be called Grassy Column Plateaus, but it's not. It's Grassy Plateaus, but I call them Bloodgrass Biomes. So there you go, buddy. Try and remember that next time, all right? Grassy Plateaus. Okay. So, <clears throat> I've been playing for a little bit, and basically all I've been doing is I wanted to go out and collect a bunch of stuff. I just wanted to go out and collect materials, uh, so basically we really wouldn't have, you guys wouldn't have to watch me go out and collect materials, because that would be really kind of boring and dumb. Uh, I went ahead and started, uh, as I was out collecting materials, I, I got a few things. Um, I told you guys that I was going to go ahead and go for the Seamoth, um, and in that biome that I told you that I was at, that's where I did find all of the Seamoth parts. Also, right by that wreck where I was at, um, if you go back and watch that, um, that episode, I also found the battery charger. I found all three of the battery chargers, and I found the modification, uh, the mobile vehicle, no, actually the mobile vehicle bay we found on the last episode. What was it? Uh, was it a modification station? Yeah. I started finding the power transmitter in that same biome. Um, the Seamoth modification station I'll have to explain in a little bit. The thermal plant as well and the modification station. Um, I started finding that in that, that um, grassy plateau or bloodgrass biome if you want to call it that. Now, you guys remember a few months ago how you would go off and you'd build a starter base and you'd turn around and your um, your pot, escape pod would be completely gone just gone yeah um, it's back again everybody thought they fixed it but maybe they broke something or whatever and you're probably thinking well wait a minute your escape pods right there yeah but here's the thing I went out and I went looking around for items and stuff and I also knew that we were getting really close to building a um, uh, whoa what are you doing up here dude you're not supposed to be up here anyway I knew that we were getting close to building a um, a, 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 a base builder uh, what, uh, dude, what the hell is that thing called again um, what is that thing called? The the the, the blah, blah, blah. it's uh yeah the habitat builder. Jeez. So I knew that we were close to building the habitat builder, and I knew that we, a base was going to be next. As you can see, I brought a beacon with me, and I found a spot that I really liked a lot, and it's really cool because it's on the edge of the bloodgrass biome slash AKA the grassy plateau biome the mushroom biome and also kind of the beginner area it's just outside the beginner area so I think it's a good place and it's nice and open too normally I build just two spires and those two spires carry everything that I need but I figure you know what for this let's play if we're gonna do this we might as well build something nice and, and good looking and stuff and then hopefully they don't come out with an update where I have to start all over again and then we just start over because that would kinda suck but anyway as I was out there looking around when I came back to after I dropped the beacon off at the location that I wanted I think we should do the base um, when I came back to the escape pod bada boom bada bang the escape pod wasn't where it was supposed to be it was actually over a grassy plateau area it was like it was a ways out let's see where's the aurora there's the aurora if I turn around it was it was way out that way I was like oh you gotta be kidding me so anyway yes I didn't have anything to push it with it except for my arm strength it took me about an hour to push that thing back to where it was I was thinking maybe I should just start over and just get to the point where I'm at and I'm like nope 
not going to do that because what this game throws at you is what it throws at you. I pushed this thing all the way back just for you guys, so I hope you appreciate that, which you probably don't. You're probably like, well, it's instantaneous to us, so why do we care? Well, it wasn't to me, okay? So, anyway, as you can see, I'm sure already, I went out and I got a few things. Just a few, not a lot, just a few. Um... And I got then a few more things. Just a few. So we're basically full. And we're kind of the point where like hosed. <laughs> uh, yeah, no more room to do anything. So what do we need? We need a base. And I don't know if I'm going to actually get to the base yet. Today. But I guess we can try. I don't know exactly how much stuff that I got. I don't know if I got enough stuff to make all the stuff to get over there because we're going to need a sea moth and we're going to need... I don't know how I'm going to transport all this crap over unless I go over and, and build whatever I can and then come back, yada, yada, yada. But I think we're just going to... If we do get to that, it's just going to be like a basic platform, platform, uh, multi-purpose room, and that's it. Maybe a couple of... We got some quartz. Maybe a couple of solar panels, but that's probably going to be it. While I was out there, I found some stalker teeth. Uh, I found enough ingots where I was just like, man, I just got to start making some ingots. Or enough titanium, I got to start making some ingots. I went to my secret spot, and I got some silver. Secret spot. Silver! Awesome! And it's... You guys probably know where my secret spot is. If you don't, leave a comment. Because I'm not going to tell you unless you leave a comment. <laughs> okay, so... That is about it. Got some silver, got some quartz. Um, yeah, so let's see exactly what we can make. Here's the thing. We need to make a sea moth. And I did get, like I said, I did get that sea moth out there on the bloodgrass biome. So, or the grassy plateau. So, oh, and I also got the propulsion cannon when I was out there too, now that I think about it. I got a lot, and, and it was a very close bloodgrass biome too. So, um, yeah. Anyway, what can we make? Let's see what we can make. Um, okay, one of the biggest things that I've been noticing is while I was out there messing around, I was running out of water fast. And I was getting really irritated and sick of it. And it looks like we get the silver ore. Do we... Did, did I grab... And I want to get the steel suit. Did we get... Oh, uh, I did. I went and got some fiber mesh. Let's make the steel suit. This is one of my favorite suits. I do not like the other one. Okay, so now that we got that done, um, I wonder what else we could make. My biggest thing is I think we need to make... Oh, we need to make a rebreather. Fiber mesh wiring kit. We got the fiber mesh. What is the wiring kit again? <gasps> Two silver ore. Guess what, guys? Yes, we do have another fiber mesh. I probably could have made the lead lead suit, but I don't really see any reason to go out to the Aurora just quite yet. Uh, what was we making again? And we got the rebreather. All right, that should help out. This whole 7502 is really, really bloody annoying. I used to love being able to go deep and then swimming around for a while and... It was bad. This this is bad. That 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 was awesome. This is bad. This sucks. Um, as you can see, I made a couple of batteries. Uh, I I think. Okay, so for the. I want the sea glide too. Copper wire. Do I have? Copper wire, lubricant. Uh, I think copper wire is just two copper ore, right? Uh, wait, where was it? Uh, sea glide, copper wire. Okay, so we have everything else. Um, copper wire. Okay, excellent. Yeah, I, I've just been out just collecting stuff for a little while, and it's just like... This is just kind of the way to go about it, you know? So the sea glide for me always goes into, I know a lot of people are like, well, as soon as you get the sea moth, you don't need the sea glide anymore. Nah. For me, I, I jump out of that, that sea moth and I would like to move quickly when I jump out of that sea moth. So I keep the sea glide on me at all times. So we're going to put the scanner in five. We're going to put the flashlight in three. 
And so there's that, which has just made no room whatsoever for me. Getting a little hungry, getting a little thirsty. Okay, so what else do we need? We need... We need a mobile vehicle base so we can make the Seamoth, right? So titanium ingot, ooh, which I've got, and lubricant and a power cell. So I think I made lubricant, yep. Titanium ingot, yep. Uh, power cell. Let's put this, this, and this in there. Power cell takes silicone rubber. So we'll go ahead and make... What was I making again? Oh, the mobile vehicle bay, and I need a power cell, which is up here. Advanced batteries. I've only got one battery. Can I make a... Mm, copper ore. So I, I have acid mushrooms, right? Yes. Copper ore. Battery and this bad boy. And then I think we can go ahead... Can you tell that the thing is floating? The escape pod's floating? That's annoying. Mobile vehicle bay. Oh, it's going to be too big for me to stick it in. Ah. Okay, so this... Whoops. Whoa. Uh, okay. Okay. Silver ore I can put away. Acid mushroom I can put away. And some quartz we can put away. Um, mobile vehicle bay, we'll put that in four. And we'll just pop out of this bad boy. And we'll go... We'll drop it right into there. Right above the stalker's face. Uh, no, I need you to... Turn around, home skillet. Okay, and what did we need for the Seamoth here? Okay, so Seamoth is titanium ingot, power cell, glass times two, and lubricant. Uh, I just forgot everything I needed. I used the lubricant already for both. Okay, so glass times two. If you guys hear any popping, that's my jaw. Sorry. Every now and then it kind of just gets wonky in my my face and <laughs> it just starts to pop and it's like, wait, what's going on? Uh, okay, so power cell, so I need two batteries. Do I have two batteries? No, but I do have two copper ore. I do have two, so there's one battery. Uh, let's go ahead and drop down and get two more acid mushrooms. And then, uh, I needed another lubricant, right? Is that what it needed? But I don't think I got the room to go get more. Whoops. Okay. And was it a power cell I said I needed? God. My brain just ain't thinking tonight. Power cell and lubricant. Okay, so I do need a power cell. So I need another silicone. There's my other power cell. Okay, I need to make room for three. One, two. Okay, so I've got room now. Good, 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 good. Glass. We're going to leave this stuff here. I don't want to take the chance of losing it if I die. I don't know if you actually lose stuff like that. Like, I know you don't use, like, lose the medical stuff if you die, but I don't know if you lose, like, titanium ingots or power cells. Why even take the chance, right? Right. Okay. So let's head over. Oh, it's pretty. Yes, it's a sea glide. Thank you. Okay, so... Let's talk a little bit about this update. And how quickly the sea glide's power goes down. Personally, I like the fact that there's beds. I like the fact that there's all this cool stuff you can decorate your, your base with and stuff. But also, personally, I absolutely positively hate the idiotic idea that they had to make the Sea Glide's power go down twice as fast just because... 
just because we now have chargers. I think it's dumb. Uh, you're basically... 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I think you're basically trading off one pain in the butt for another pain in the butt. The, before, the pain in the butt was finding copper and then getting the acid mushrooms and making batteries. The pain in the butt now is you have to, I, personally at least, have to carry around four spare batteries in my inventory at all times. With as fast as the sea glides crap goes down now. And it's like, are you guys kidding me? I mean, really? Let's just trade one pain in the butt for another. This... It, it, I understand if you guys, you know, if they want to make changes, if they want to, um, two glass, power cell, titanium ingot. Um, I understand if they want to make changes, they want to make improvement, that's great, but you know what, make a little bit of a change, and then test it on the players. I can tell you right now, there's a lot of players out there that are not happy about that in the update at all. Um... And I'm one of them, you know. Try it out with the players first. See what they say. Hey, yeah, it's great. Or, no, it's way too overpowered. You guys need to fix this. But, basically, I think they tried to do a little balancing in the game um, once they put in the, the power chargers. And, in my opinion, they kind of screwed up in that point by dropping how quickly or increasing how quickly the sea glide is drained. It drives me nuts. Okay, sea moth. Dun, 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 dun. So cool! The nightmare is born. Yeah! Ah, what do I get that out? Look at that. Already down to 82%. It's ridiculous. Where'd my Seamoth go? Okay, so... Now, I think we've got a little bit of room now. Yes. Hungry yet again. This dude eats like a pig. Okay, we're... Okay. Um, like I said, I want to go out to the base location where I found. I think it'll be pretty darn cool. I think you guys will like it. And I just want to drop... Um, let's see. I want to drop one, two, three, four... Uh, where's the building materials? It's... Oh, now that I think about it... Mystic, you idiot. You don't even have a habitat builder. Computer chip, silver... Okay, battery. Another battery? Everything takes friggin' batteries now. Uh, silver. Okay, and quartz. So I'm gonna need to get another quartz. Uh, another battery. Let's see. So we're getting two of these. And... What was I getting? Oh, table coral samples. Oh, and one more quartz if we can come across one. Uh, table, coral, sample, table, coral, sample, table, coral, sample. There's one right there. One, uh, two, and I think I need one more quartz. And that'll give me the computer chip. Oh, and we probably need one of these, too. Just so we can build the platform and so we can build the, um, uh, What's it called? The platform in the, 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 the room. The multi-purpose room. God, I can never remember the name of that. Let's get a little bit of oxygen here. Caution. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Not anymore. I really like this area over here. Like I said, this is usually my stomping ground, but I'm just tired of it. And I, I like... Okay, one of my favorite colors is blue. And blue's pretty close to purple, especially when you're colorblind like me. Uh, let's drink our pee. Uh, one, two... Okay, so... There... Okay, one, two, that's a solar panel. One, two, that's a solar panel. One, two, that's a solar panel. One, two, three, three times... Uh, three times two is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're going to need a lot more titanium. Um, crap. I think I'm full now. Yes, I'm full. Uh... <clears throat> because we need to make... I want to make two platforms. And then I want to make one multi-purpose room. And then I want to make... I want to just power it up with some... Some solar panels. And we'll be good just as a starter. Right there. Uh, that's the thing that sucks about this. Is the in your inventory is not really big. And you get full like this. And it's like... Man. 
It's like you're trying to do some micromanaging, and either you got you got one of two choices. One, you can build a whole bunch of lockers out there, which personally I think they're completely worthless because their inventory is like half of yours, which is really dumb. <clears throat> or you can just cart everything back and forth, which, you know, computer chip, it's kind of a pain, but it's you're not wasting your time dorking around with with lockers that you, that take up a huge amount of space when you want to pick them up after you're done. You know, that's my personal opinion, so i just rather take the time and cart it back and forth. Uh, woo! Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, that'll do the, um... Let's see. That'll do all of the solar panels. One, two, three. One, two, yeah, okay. That'll do the three solar panels. One, two, three, four, five, six. That'll do the multi-purpose room. Three, four, five, six. That'll only do one platform. Oh, there are only four. So, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Multi-purpose room. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Ooh. Ooh, that's good. Uh, I probably should make a fabricator, but I just don't have the stuff for it now. Um, yeah, to heck with it. Let's just go. Uh, food. We're good on water for right now. So let's just go over there. Okay, so... I pressed the button. Thank you very much, Miss Nightmare. And there's the base. So if we look at where we were at the Aurora, we're at the butt end of the Aurora, right? So if you go parallel to the Aurora, and then you go maybe about a little over a 45 degree angle, that's where our main base is going to be. And it's like I said, it's really nice because it's on the edge of a creep vine biome of the beginner biome, or I shouldn't say, but yeah, it's a beginner biome, and then, <clears throat> excuse me, and then the mushroom biome. So, oh, a little bit of a lag spike right there. Um, so yeah, I think it's really cool. I like it a lot. And uh, like I said, I was just cruising around, picking stuff up, grabbing some some fragments and stuff, and bada boom, bada bing, it was like calling to me. It was like, hey dude, come over here and make your base, man. So I was like, all right, cool. So I dropped, that's why I dropped the beacon. And I, that was kind of my intention the entire time was to find us a, a base location. See, check this out. So here's the, here's the creep vine biome, right? Cool. So we got vines over here and we got a wreck over here. Okay. So now here's the grassy plateau, AKA bloodgrass biome. And I think there's like a wreck over here too, or there's at least debris over here. I really wish this was daytime so you could see this better. And then... Uh, i got to let it load a little bit, guys. Sorry. If you just drop down over the edge over here... Let me just kind of tap forward a little bit. and There's the mushroom biome right there. So it's literally on the cusp of three different biomes. Wait. Creep vine, mushroom bloodgrass, and the beginner biome. Which, technically, it's not completely on the cusp of the beginner biome, because the be beginner biome is just kind of right over there, but it's close enough, you know what I'm saying? So, really nice spot. I really like it. It's got... It looks good. It's got a nice cliff by it and everything else, so I think we're going to set down right here. Alright, I'm stoked. I'm stoked. And what I want to do is I was looking at it and I think what we can do is I am so sick and tired of trying to squeeze my Seamoth into a cave or something to get in to the moon pole. No more dorking around. I'm going to make it nice and easy for us to get into the moon pole. So I'm going to stick these first uh, pieces right on the edge here and then I'm going to stick the, the moon pole out behind it. No, I do not have the moon pole yet. So... But I think what I'm going to do is a, it's a nice straight line, so I'm going to just make it a, either a straight base down here. I don't know what I'm going to do. I had like 50 different, you know, ideas. So let's go ahead and 
park right there so I can get some lights out. I really wish it was daytime so you guys could see this better. And I think... Now, just a heads up, guys. Every time I've gone into this thing and I've pulled out a foundation, it's frozen on me. Sometimes it completely shuts down the game. Sometimes it doesn't. So... I'm saving it. <laughs> just in case. Because I did a lot of work and I still haven't saved it yet. Okay, so here we go. Here comes the freeze. There it is. See that? You guys, Anybody else have that problem? Throw me a comment if you do, if you have that same problem. It's whenever I go for the foundation, I get this lag spike. And then I wait a while, and one of two things happens. One, it either shuts the game completely down. Or two, it comes out of it and it's fine. And usually by now it's come out of it, so I don't quite know what's going on. I don't know if it's going to do it or not. Oh, we got lucky today. Very nice. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to kind of split. I'm looking to split this trail kind of down the middle a little bit, but at the same time, if I do that, it's going to be on an angle. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. All right, all right. If I do that, it's going to be kind of on an angle. I hate that. It just randomly spits you out in a certain direction. Uh, in different directions, not a certain direction. So if I do that and I put the split right in the center. See, and after I after I do it once, it's fine. I have no problem with getting a foundation back out. So I could do it right there, split it down the middle and have it come down like that. So I could do it there. I like that. Let's do that. Yeah, I like that. Let's do that. Uh, I just said that twice, didn't I? Wow. Okay, so let's go ahead and hang that over the edge. That was kind of a perfect placement for me right off the bat. That's interesting. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, yeah, I like that. Ooh, I like that a lot. Let's go back in and get some O2. And we're back out again, and let's go ahead, and what I want to do is, since putting down a multi-purpose room is just wonky as all hell, yeah, let's put it in the corners instead of the center of the platform. Nice job on that one, devs. Uh, sorry, I shouldn't be mean. This is one of the greatest games I've ever played, so I shouldn't be a jerk. <laughs> but, yeah, it, it, nobody's perfect, and nobody, you know, everybody likes something different, so... Um, yeah, basically... You know, one person's ma one person's trash is another person's treasure. So, um, I don't know if I should put it on this side or that side. I kind of like it over there because it kind of is next to this cliff side over here. But at the same time, I don't. Caution. I kind of like it over here. Yeah, we're gonna put remaining. it right here. Yeah, that that's more out in the center there. I like that. And we're back in the Seamoth yet again. So I'm not exactly sure what I plan on doing. I don't know if I want to do like a star or if I want to do like a standard H. But I'm just tired of building towers. I'll probably build a couple towers in this, but I'm tired of building towers and only having two towers as my base. I wanted something different. I want to try something different with you guys. And you guys are kind of helping me figure this out right now. Um, I think that's it. We That's all we want to put down is a multi-purpose room. Oh, I didn't even bring glass for a hatch. Nice job, Mystic Yet. We won't finish that sentence. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and power it up without a hatch because we can't get in it. Nice job, Mystic. You needed glass. Uh, what was I looking for? Oh, solar panel. Okay. So we're just going to put, I think we said three solar, we're just going to throw these on right now. We'll probably just move them later. But right now we'll just toss these in right here. Caution. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. And get it nice and powered up. Get it nice and warm. Get the, the jacuzzi warm. And get the oxygen in there. And 
you know, and get the heated the heated beds going and yeah, that was just dumb. Sorry, dumb joke, guys. Ten seconds of oxygen remaining. No, you're fine. Your seamoth is right there, sweetie. All right, there we go. Oh, now that it's light, you guys can kind of see what what it's all about. See, look at that. It's that nice straight line. We could build straight down there if we wanted, or we could build out into the sides. Let's get out so you can see better. We could build out into the sides over here. You know, if we wanted to, we could build out over here. Definitely, the moon pool is going to go out. You know out the back of this multi-purpose room right here. I'm going to put a glass uh, corridor out there and then some uh, moon pole out there. You look down, you can see the nice mushroom biome, which is awesome. Uh, we kind of got a blood grass slash plateau, grassy plateau area that we're on, and then we've got this nice creep vine biome over here. And then if you go just over that way right there, there's the beginner area over there. And over here, you got these really really cool caves down here and in fact this is where I was gonna buy I was gonna build it was right here of oxygen remaining. is there not a there's not a oxygen plant down here crap but yeah I was actually gonna build it off of this corner right here I thought that I was thinking that would be so cool to build it off of that corner and just have that um, that arch in the background wouldn't that be cool but then I just thought no because that kind of limits how three two, that kind of limits where did it go it's right here that kind of limits how big we can make it in the back we'd have to basically hang it over that edge and then everything else would have to come you know towards the sea moth where the sea moth is positioned it all have to be coming out this way so but I think it's a really cool area, and I maybe one day in the future I'll build there, but I really like it. I think that's so cool looking. You know, just have your base right here, and then you turn around and boom, you look down and look at all that mushroom biome and everything. But I just figured, you know what, for our purposes, I want to kind of go a little bit bigger. I want to try, you know, build a little, expand a little bit more on this one, and I think this is pretty decent looking right here. I think it looks all right. So, well, guys, that is our time. End of the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I know that last video I did have a little bit of audio issues. I told you guys I would. I know it sounds kind of funky and funny. Go ahead and laugh at me. That's fine. I'm still trying to work that out, figure out what's going on, what's causing that. It only happens every so often now, but I apologize about that. But if you like this video, hit the like button. If you didn't hit the, you didn't like it, don't hit it. And if you absolutely hate it with an absolute passion, and you absolutely have to, go ahead and hit the dislike, I guess. But try and leave a comment and let me know, you know, why you didn't like it and what you'd like to actually see. Eventually, I might be able to get some of the content that you want to see into the into some of these videos.